Well, I just watched a woke Gillette ad that kind of disappointed me. I mean, is it really that necessary to, to push this in just everything, and now it's even in, in ads for shaving? Ads for... Ads for products that are already designed to make you look less masculine. Oh, let me guess, someone's going to get offended because, well, you know, you're attaching masculinity to, to a, a beard. Well, yeah, that's the way it usually is. On average, that's how it is. I'm sorry that offends you. No, I'm not sorry that offends you. Look, to me, masculinity and femininity are supposed to keep each other in check. As it currently stands, we are not permitted, socially, to criticize femininity. It doesn't matter if you're referencing a woman or a man. It doesn't matter if you're just referencing the concept. Society's rules are that we are not permitted to criticize femininity. To do such will either give you the label of a homophobe or a misogynist. You're just not permitted to do it. When people push this idea that we're all blank slates, we're born blank slates, and that women and men are the same except for physical features, and some people even try to argue against that. But, you know, when people push the blank slate narrative, they can push the idea that anything feminine is wonderful and anything masculine is bad. Because to be a man, you don't have to be this over here. We're all blank slates, right? And so under those definitions, we're supposed to get rid of everything bad in society. Unless they're Muslim or black, and then, and then the rules are completely different then misogyny is cool, a toxic masculinity is cool, because intersectionality, you can't say anything, right? Republicans tend to use masculinity to govern, and Democrats tend to use femininity to govern. I mean, I guess you could say that about the, the greater right and the greater left as well. Not necessarily just Democrats and Republicans, but it's just the, the method in which you govern or want to govern, but there has been this goal to pretty much destroy masculinity and the governing styles that come with it. I'll say this again. I think masculinity and femininity are supposed to keep each other in check. When either one goes unchecked, they both become unchecked. And we get the kind of crap we're experiencing now. Trump, who is what happens when masculinity and power are unchecked, he becomes president yeah, that's kind of the straw that broke our society's back. It destroyed those checks and balances of femininity and masculinity. It just kind of, it threw it off. I mean, you can call it Trump derangement syndrome if you want, but his presidency was the straw that broke the camel's back. It, it was the final straw. You know, the people who usually spew religious morality, do all this virtue signaling for religious morality, are supporting the most immoral stances, while the people who typically spew the biggest virtue signals and say that they have science on their side are being the biggest bigots and being the most judgmental. Yeah, this, this presidency has turned this country upside down when we were already teetering on a social meltdown. I think we can recover, but I, I just hope we can somehow get some balance back to where Femininity tames the masculinity, and the masculinity tames the femininity. You know, we, we, we need to come back to that again. Because this shit, this, this shit that's going on now just isn't working. We're becoming more and more separated, more and more identity politics being used, and more traditional values, including the bad things, the good things and the bad things, is making its way. Yep, you just couldn't stand Hillary, could you? Was it worth it? Is is was is not was not having Hillary worth it? Really? Was it worth all this? Granted, you know, it seems like a lot of this stuff was going to happen at one point in time regardless. Things were starting to get pretty polarized under Obama. Trump was just the straw that broke the camel's back. That's what I was saying, you know, by we were already teetering on a social meltdown. But going back to what I said earlier with not being able to criticize femininity, 
I don't know who said this originally, but it, it, it essentially means if you want to know who it is that's in control, figure out what it is that you can't criticize. 